Hello everyone, this is uh, James, or aka Fliptaku, or Flippin' Nomad. I am in Pittsburgh right now. Yes, I'm in the Yard Institute. I'm enjoying college life. I'm actually in the Shannon Hall dorm building. I used to live in Fidelity, but I moved here. But I am here... Uh, yes, I am still excited, you know, about being here. It, it's it's sink it's sinking in now, but still the excitement. It's the it depends. Now I'm gonna teach you basic one on ones on how to prepare to move into the dorm building from what I you know what I've seen through my first quarter. Now please follow my tips, and this will hopefully help you not get caught off guard about something in the dorm like oh hey I didn't see this coming. So, first and foremost, the floor. The floor is a basically cr concrete floor with black paint that's chipping off. Always gets dirty, it's never clean, really annoying. So, what I highly recommend is getting a carpet. Like, see right there? Yeah, there's a rug. And I, I highly recommend doing carpet, uh, anyways, because it makes the room feel much more ho much more homier, much more comfortable. You know, I, I just don't want to wake up and get the feeling of floor like dirty floor under on my feet. Do you? No. Same thing with the bathroom. It's this floor is all around the dorm. It's all around. It's the whole building. So I highly recommend getting some proper rugging. Um, other than that, um, ah uh, yes. Your room size, please, please don't be bringing in tons of crap. I highly recommend, first off, for a computer, buy a laptop or have a laptop. Bring it. Now, you can use a desktop, but it does take space, so please compensate. Like, for me, I can probably bring a desktop right now. And I'm planning to build my uh, new gaming computer. Which is going to be small to help compensate for the space, but please just think of it as space wise. I highly recommend bringing a laptop because you can take it anywhere and it's just all in one there because with a computer you need a desktop, monitor, keyboard, mouse, all the cables and wiring and shit, which annoys me sadly. But yeah, bring a, bring a laptop. Now for the bed here, the beds are, it depends on what get, bed you get. Some are okay, others are worn out. Now, the thing that helps out with a bed, buy a comforter. I'm going to get one soon from my parents and relatives. It will be beautiful. But right now, it's okay for this bed alone. The other bed that I was sleeping on in another room, it was not good. It was literally the springs were really worn out, so I kind of sunk in more than need be. So buy a comforter. At least bring two pillows. You know, two good fluffy pillows for your head. As far as blankets go, I recommend with two blankets, so in case if you do get cold, you have another blanket right there to help warm you up. I recommend having one thick blanket and one thin one. So you can always sleep over the thin one and using the hard, thick blanket. Or if you're a little hot, you know, you can sleep on the thick one and be under the thin one. Now, um, as bed sheets go, this is a single this is a single size bed. It's actually the bed sheet I brought is kind of small, is it's it's an oversized basically. So, yeah, it's like single single size or around there. Like, if you have like only like single size plus sizes for bed sheets, it's okay. You just you know how to tuck it in stuff like that. So, other than that, um, what else is in my mind? Oh uh, yes, the kitchen. Kitchen comes with cabinet, sink, mic, uh, oven, oven stove, mic. Uh, bleh, English is going bad. Oven and a micro, uh, oven stove, stove top oven. Yeah. English was not my first language. And a refrigerator, which is nice with you know the cabinets, put your stuff, your food, all that good stuff. Now, it does not come with a microwave. If you are moving into a room with your roommates already there. Ask them if they br brought one. If there is no microwave, you have the option to bring one yourself if you need to. Having a microwave really does help. It is really essential. <laughs> and Or if you're moving into a room, but no one's living in there, and you're all like organized what to bring, organize to see who's going to be bringing what. Talk to them. Because I have a friend who is two floors down, who her and her roommates brought three microwaves because they didn't like really organize a conversation with each other to who's bringing what. So that go. So yeah, 
other than that, uh, as for TV wise, I recommend bringing a small size TV. If you have an LCD TV, which is also it's also nice because not much space. Uh, I also recommend getting you know some spare strip outlets as well because of it, because some of the outlets here are a little iffy. So yeah, as far as the internet goes, now each dorm room, you know dorm bedroom comes with a cable modem now the modem is pretty good it's actually a pretty fast connection by comcast though comcast is being a real bitch and it's one of the most unreliable connections i've known it's, of course download speed is great but it screws up some of the modems are not even have been uh, turned on yet and it, it, seriously capcom is just it, they're just fucking with us so some days it's good, other days it's bad, and you know I have a hard time trying to play you know P PS3 or Xbox 360 online or stuff like that because the connection's a little iffy. Like if I don't know, like one you know, like one minute I'm killing my, killing the enemy, the next I disconnect and the internet goes out and I have to reset the modem. So, but other than that, the modem comes with four internet ports. It is not wireless. You have and the school does not provide its own wireless connection, so you have to buy your own wireless router. Uh, with that, I highly recommend putting a password on it because you don't want any freeloaders going in on it so to make the connection slow or anything like that. So once you buy a router, hook it up to the modem, and just set it up with a password that you and your roommates know. Um, other than that, um, as far as TV-wise, we got basic cable TV, and we got a movie channel actually, which is pretty nice. You know, sometimes you just Watch movies. So, uh, the windows cannot be open. Uh, depending on where you are, you might not even have windows. Like right now, I am blessed with two windows. I get a great window side view. Hold on, let me pull up the curtains here real quick. But if you can see, I'm a blessed with a great view on the outside, and they're big windows too. So. this down. Again, windows cannot be open under certain reason for any reason at all or they will complain. Other thing to note, you cannot bring any pets including fish, lizards, rats, mice, hamsters, dribbles, all that stuff. Yes, the new rules are they just want to pre prevent unnecessary death and uh, bad smells. So other than that, uh, I recommend bringing your own cleaning supplies, buy your own food. I highly recommend buying food at the Super Walmart in bulks. Now, ramen... Ramen will be your best friend and your worst enemy. It's cheap, easy to make, and it's available all the time. So, if you eat too much of this, you will get sick. Like, I have the authentic ramen noodles, and these are much... They're a lot better than the ramen. Let's just say that. Let's just say if I eat this every day, I wouldn't get as sick as eating ramen. Well, the top ramen or the Maruchan ramen, whichever works. Um, yeah, buy food that... Don't eat out as much because it does cost. Oh, uh, laundry. Uh, good to note, in Shannon Hall, you will need... If you're going to buy a new laundry cart, it's $10 minimum to buy a new laundry card and it's three dollars to purchase it and the seven dollars will go towards will go in that card now the washer and dryer cost a dollar twenty five a little pricey yeah so make sure you have that ten bucks to buy the card and extra spare cash needed but there are machine there is a machine right beside one of the elevators on the first floor to give you those laundry cards um, um of course you got to bring your own detergent and you know freshener uh, other than that, I am trying to think here because I'm running out of time, and yeah, um, it's a really cool experience here. Um, there's a gym area where you can play games or work out. There's a lobby, you know. There are surrounding areas where you can just order Chinese or pizza. It's a it's a cool place. There's a lot of events here, cool events like they recently showed uh, the movie Up in Shannon Hall basement, which was really good actually. I actually, I really like the movie a lot. I can't wait for it to release on DVD. Um, yeah, like, coming to the dorms, just be prepared, and follow my 
tips on this video and uh, have fun.